Geek tonight. What's poppin' is Adonis? We are back with another Assassination Classroom. I know it's been a minute. I do apologize for the wait. But we are back, man. And Koro Sensei, last episode, uh, you know, they, they his, his, I guess, his brother, his brother and his brother's carer, uh, you know, talked one of the students in into pulling off some kind of, uh, you know, grand plan to Luo Koro Sensei. Uh, and um, come to find out that there was this pretty elaborate plan. Had some kind of spray put on him that stopped the mucus from developing around his body that actually prevents water from making him, like he takes on water like a sponge. That was really cool. So we see that being developed and you know the kid that got taken advantage of in the scenario um, didn't know that he was putting also his his friends in danger. Uh, did not know that that was what the plan actually was. So he felt swindled. Uh, and it was his job that episode to make it right. Was to correct a wrong. And it was a cool episode. And you saw at the very end, uh, Koro's brother, you know, basically uh, getting okie doked by that same kid. And in the middle of a river. I was like, okay, this is a pretty cool episode. And again, I just thought it was, it's one of those things, one of the charms about this series is kind of each student having like their own, their own mini story every episode. And that was his. Cool episode. We're about to get into this one though, man. I know, um, oh, what the, Hoven Schlizzle Slaza? Who the hell is that? I don't know who that is, but, okay. Well, let's get this moving, bro. We're gonna keep this thing. Push into the lane, lane. You guys ready? Let's go, bruh. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> this is hilarious, but now the father, the father clone has vanished. <laughs> See, bro, this is crazy, bro. He's willing to put his own life on the line for his own students to level up, bro. That's kind of wild, bro. Like, if you think about it, bro, like, yo, I'm going to put my life on the line for you guys, bro. You do good, the top people in this spot. Guess what? Y'all get to take y'all get to take some shots. End of term. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. That was hella brilliant, bro. Is that you doing these introductions? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, he's definitely going to be his son, bro. <laughs> Bet you I can help you out in the study hall. Hey, bro. That's called a recognized game, bro. That's when you gain respect, people be like, "Hey, oh, by the way, man, people uh, they on some, they on some fuck shit right now." You know what I mean? They gonna look out, bro. Oh, 
Boy, he kicked the ball to his dad. His dad was like, look, little boy. <laughs> Not well endowed men. Oh, wow. Yo, that is such a weird relationship, bro. I was thinking about keeping you as a slave. <laughs> what? Not the academic chops. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Y'all really trying to do this shit, bro? Look at that, though. Yup. Yeah. First of all, this dude tied up an entire dog with one hand, chilling like this, bro. He was like, Daddy. 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 Bro, what? What? Yeah, this kid is kind of creepy, bro. See, bro, they over here tr really trying to swindle them, bro. Hmm. So he's really trying to figure out. He's really trying to take down his dad is what it seemed like, bro. That's all I'm saying. It seems like, like I'm trying to take down Pops. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna need it. I mean, you could tell like they're really trying to set something up crazy. That, you know, cause right now I was like, all right, what was gonna, what else is gonna come in excuse me, the way of them trying to kill Koro. But I didn't see this whole, my son is my best student and also trying to figure out what else I'm doing uh, with this class E. Like, that's interesting. Like, that, I think that whole situation right now is like, all right, so you have this principal that seems like he has it out for these students. You have his son that is just as man manipulative, but he wants to know what his dad's hiding because he wants to be in power. He wants to be the one in control. But he's like, I need to know what he's hiding first. I need to know what's going on. So in some in some ways, in some ways, going against his dad could could also get him that knowledge. So it's like, you know, if he ends up losing this battle, I think the next thing is now is like, all right, well, what happens when I get put in class E? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's the other thing of like, if if they lose this scenario and he's not in the top, they don't win this thing and it's, you know, they don't get to sign that contract. How else is he going to get in there as far as learning knowledge about what's going on? So really, really interesting about that as well. Um, and the agreement they hadn't even agreed on. Right. They're like, hey, we'll set the terms afterwards. Well, this is what you guys have to do now. You have to do this sign this what like that's crazy bro like that holds ugh, this is kind of wild 
Interesting though, but let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments down below. Really want to know your guys' thoughts. And uh, I'll be doing this um, daily as well since we had to move to your eternity to Patreon because of copyright. I literally just, literally just got a claim. It didn't get a strike, but I literally got a claim two hours ago from episode three. So they're like going through my channel right now, it seems. So it is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why my channel just seems to get hit, but it does. And there's nothing I can do but create more content. So I appreciate you guys that support your boy and all that. It's really the, the dopest, bro. And if you guys want to catch us early, or unedited Patreon link is in the subscription. Uh, the subscription, the description. I'll catch you guys in the next one, though. Till then, stay geeks.